Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome back to more Neocab. Now first off, I think I should apologize for the like lack of streams recently. It's been a mix of just not feeling up to it, and also I've been far too addicted with Ocarina of Time Randomizer. But because I uh, streamed a seed of that, I would say I'm fairly satisfied when it comes to that. I don't remember what I was doing on a Neocab. I know that I'm on night four. Um, I don't think- oh, I didn't go through this. I can't remember if I'd done this. I'm pretty sure I did though. Is this where he takes us to pit? Yeah, okay. And I have to give him the... Go for it. I'm pretty sure that was my uh, response. Uh, hope you have a good night. You too. There we go. Three stars. Sheesh. Well, I'm at five stars again. Journal. What is it I need to do? Ah, <laughs> oh, three boyfriends. So what are their names? Jess, DJ, and Charlie. Okay. I don't remember who I was going to go for. I'm right near... Aganon, which is uh, not someone I really want, or really fancy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have this guy. He's at Neocab Prime. I'm actually close by to him. Hmm. Now that's Charlie. Wouldn't you like to know? I think I'll go with the other guy first then. Luke Howard. I mean, he's Prime, which means you get more money out of him. Strategic Intelligence Analyst. Here there be opinions, engage your own risk. Oh. I don't like the sound of that. Um... I don't really know if I want to deal with him then. Because, what? I can't remember what the names of the guys were. I'm pretty sure one of them was Charlie, so it's probably him. Yeah, I'll go with that guy. Sod it. If it moves, it's Capra. Wait. I'd learned not to bother with Golden Prime packs back at the flats. Uh-oh. The small boost in fare wasn't worth the huge dose of entitlement that typically came with them. Oh, shoot. But if this guy was involved with Savvy, there probably wasn't anything typical about him. Plus I needed information. Desperately. Okay, good. You here for Charlie? That's right. Let's not say you're not an easy person to find. How's your night been? No, oh, you know, drink to forget bad memories. And, oh, you get a new ones. Should I put that on a throw pillow for your back seat? His face was shiny with sweat and he smelled like if you poured a bottle of whiskey into a gym bag. The dead giveaway. He'd been clubbing, just like on the night Savvy disappeared. My palms went clammy on the steering wheel. There was a chance this guy knew where she was, where she was right now. I needed to play it cool. I had to be direct. No, play cool. No worries. Just as just so long as you had a good night. Yeah, I needed to blow off some steam. Having a rough time lately? What are you, some kind of driver priestess? You have the face for it. I bet people spill their guts for you. I know it's just so blitz, blatantly animal to go to the place with the hottest guys and the loudest bass when the thoughts get bad. But fuck it, it just almost works, you know? Yes, in fact I did know. More so the loud bass part and pulling Savvy off the hottest guys. Wait, wasn't this guy supposed to be one of her boyfriends? Oops. Your feel grid feels bad. Do you like that thing? We got them for free at work. Another Capricare's wellness program. Not that I'd ever wear it. Why would I want anyone knowing how I f really feel all the time? It's alright, my friend gave it to me. She thought it'd help me be more assertive. Then does it? Um. I guess it didn't. I had to speak- oh fuck you. Okay, I guess I, I have to choose this. Yes. In fact, it's about to help me be assertive right now. She's actually someone you know. I wanted to ask you about her. What, do I know you? 
No, but I heard she was hanging out with you. Right before she disappeared. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. Just tell me, do you know where Savvy is? Oh my god, fucking Savvy. This is a nightmare. Are you a cop or something? I'm not saying anything. Great. I, I scared him silent. I'm sorry, I'm just really worried about her. Savvy's been my best friend since we were teenagers. I watched him for any sign of recognition. Hadn't she told her latest guy about me? Lena, from Cactus Flats. Yeah, okay. I remember now. Lena. She made me... Wait, she made me help clear out her extra room for you. A girl lives like a garbage rat. My mind races with que or raced with questions. He sighed and a cloud of whiskey musk filled the car. Maybe he could tell me where to find her, if I could just find out where he'd seen her last. I needed to know exactly how they knew each other. Eh. I'd probably say where to find, or where he last saw her. Just find out where he'd last seen her. When did you last see her? The night we went to... Stan's machine. She finally got me on the list after making me wait, like, months. But then she kept disappearing into this dingy... back room and leaving me alone with the Buzzkill Radix types. So I went, I went back there and she was yelling at Jess, who is also a DJ, apparently. Have you ever seen someone argue with a guy in a giant light-up helmet? Hilarious, I swear I saw it in a dream before. Was she acting weird at all? Uh, yes. She got me out, she got me out to go dance. But then all she wanted to do was talk. And about, like, my childhood and where I grew up and did I ever have any pets? It was so annoying, but now I get it. What do you get? Nothing. Forget it. I could feel him holding something back. His leg bounced up and down so hard it rocked my seat. Oh, right. Maybe you could tell me where to find her? Where is she? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Hmm. Can you think of anywhere she might go? Maybe with Jace? But I'm pretty sure that guy just lives off couch surfing and being punk as fuck. So in that case, she definitely hasn't showered. Everything he told me swelled in my head. I felt my stomach drop. Savvy, what have, what have you done? Playing both sides? Oh. We were almost to, Charlie, to Charlie's drop-off. There was so much more I wanted to ask him. Can I, ca can I call you on meetup again? Sure, let me give you my address while I'm at it too. I have to ask. I just need all this to be over. Whatever Savvy's up to, it's serious. Capra prosecutes everything, and with Sophie's law on the line, he let the question linger as I pulled up to his building. I'd watch my back if I were you. Oh, don't say that gave me a shite rating. Probably did. Let's see, we got four stars. Wow, I was, <laughs> I was actually right. A silent ride just like I wanted. No! Wow, he only gave me 4.4. What the hell was the point? Now in the Steve. Okay, so Savvy's a double agent, Radix and Capra. Also, Charlie is the worst. <laughs> ah, crap. Whoa! Fiona Pack. Oh! It's that chick again. There's Sam. I don't think there's a point in going to Stan's machine. Wait, who is this guy? Anthony Colton. I don't remember this guy. This wasn't the guy that had his brother come along for the ride and they were trying to determine whether I was a robot or not. I don't remember if it was that guy or not. Wait, so who has the better stars? His is five, hers are four. She's new though. Yeah, we'll do... Yeah, Fiona. Screw it. This is where I'm just going to completely bone myself. I pulled up to a gleaming apartment tower that was halfway between a condo and an arcology. I bet the place was full of Capra swag and expensive uh, produce. 
More drop crisis. Please wait a minute. Thanks. I didn't mind waiting. Gave me a chance to think about what was going on. I should have been with Savvy by now, drinking to my new life to my new life in Los Ojos. Maybe with a nice sour cider. Now I didn't even know if she was dead or alive. Where was she? What was she thinking right now? Hey! I'm sorry. Thank you so much for waiting. Was this the standard look in LO? Must have taken her hours. So this is a Neocab car, right? Oh, huh? Uh, going somewhere special tonight? I don't know if I should ask that. I don't know, it might just come across as dickish, I guess. First time not riding a Capra. Sure. Yeah, I needed to ask you a weird question. I mean, it's like medium weird. If that's okay, go for it. Okay, be honest. Do you like what I'm wearing? Is that crazy to ask? I'm sorry. I don't trust my mirror anymore, you know? They just program them to say what you want to hear. So can you just give me, like, first impressions? It's too much, isn't it? No, it's nice. Really? <laughs> it's so sparkly. Where are you headed? Off to the executioner. Yikes. No, sorry. It's a first date. And I thought I hated the whole mating dance thing. Sorry, I did a pre-game pre shot. Guess that was a bad idea. Trust me, I've been there. First dates are a ton of pressure. Tell me about it. It's just... I know it sounds weird, but we're already together. We just haven't met in person. We started vid-chatting one day just for fun on one of those sites, you know? Ooh, in there. We're related. Three months later, we talk every day, and it feels like we just fit. Like when something happens, he's the first person I want to tell. I actually look forward to staying in on Friday night, Friday night now. So he flew here to see me in person, which means... Time for his first impression of me. Sounds like he's really into you. I guess, for now. It's just a little complicated. When we started vid chatting, I had my filter on, because why not? I use it for everything anyway. But then I just never turn it off. So he's never really seen me, you know? I spent hours programming my Annie mesh to match the filter. I barely got any work done, but it looks good, right? It's beautiful. <laughs> I just nodded. Thanks. I spent a lot of time on it, tested a bunch of versions. I feel like I could, write, I could write a book on how to design your ideal jawline. What program, program are you using on your Animesh? It looks super custom. Oof. <laughs> it's very custom. It's my DNA. Shut up. You're not wearing nano foundation? Programmable particles that can take on any pigment? Developed by marine biologists who studied cuttlefish. Basically adaptive camouflage for humans. Science magic. Right? It's expensive as hell, but nothing else can dupe a filter. So yours is more like a cuddlefish. Am I right? I don't know if that's a good thing to say. A cuddlefish. That was terrible. <laughs> Amazing. I've just been on enough dates to know that people... Uh, that Oh, to know that look people get when you go in person and they're disappointed, you know? Their face kind of falls and their eyes go a little flat. Oh, I know that feeling. Then they smile too big and act too friendly to cover it up, but you just know right then. It's going nowhere. God, people even do that to you? Your nose to chin ratio is totally perfect. I think it's rough out there for everyone. This is where you tell me to, like, just be myself, right? No, I hate how people say that. I hate how people say that like it's some brilliant solution. Who doesn't want...
to be someone else every now and then, you know? Exactly. So, why meet up now? Uh, well... He's actually moving here. Lucky break with his job. Can you turn on the cab light? Sure thing. She rummaged in her purse and pulled out a packet of wet wipes. I never meant to have a screen boyfriend, you know. She tucked her precision curls behind her ears. Nothing wrong with a screen boyfriend. I'm the on-call sysadmin for three different companies, and they ping me 24-7. I just started looking at profiles, for fun. Sure enough, she started wiping the, the Annie mesh from her face. Ooh, I hid a smile as I watched the digital Fiona melt away. It's her choice. Whoa, why did she have the Annie mesh on? A lot of guys, a lot of the guys are creeps or bots. But Dre is always travelling for work. Otherwise, he'd have been snapped up a long time ago. He's a total ten. I'm, I'm like a natural six, an enhanced eight. She rummaged deeper into her purse. You're way more than a six. And I'm seeing you without a filter. Well, thanks. I try. Oh god. Oh, she's <laughs> panicking. You're gonna be okay. No, it's not that. My glow shadow is in my other purse. Oh shit, shit. I don't want to go into this bare fist. I just wanted a fresh start for a few white a few swipes of colour. I remembered the little makeup bag I'd thrown in my purse before I set out for LO. And that felt like sometime last year. You really look great without the makeup. Yeah, yeah, I just like it. It's fun, you know? I might have a glow shadow in my purse. Uh, I, mean, I mean, that would offer it, but taking my eyes off the road would be a bad idea. Just try it. For the, oh god, I took an eye off the road to grab it and hand it back to her. Watch out. I got it. Secure his color. And a little goes a long way. You're gonna love it. Oh! Do you like it? Looks great! <laughs> she winked. Now I almost wanted to go on this date. It's technically still a kind of filter. I guess that's true. She chewed her lip and checked her reflection in the rear view again. You keep the glow shadow, okay? Oh my god, really? Thank you, thank you. I feel like this is a good omen, you know? People should fall in love with their eyes closed. Do you know who said that? <laughs> Oscar Wilde is always a safe bet. Close. Andy Warhol. Nice. Oh, there's the bar. Give my best to Dre. Blah, to Dre. And have fun. Fun. Is that what this is all for? Fiona flashed a devilish smile at me as she walked away, the first real one of the night. I saw she had a little gap in her front teeth. Cute. Aw, that was sweet. She actually took off the filter. Isn't that nice? Five stars! Thanks for listening, she's so nice, like in a real way. I appreciate her trying to cheer me on. My queen saved my life tonight. Yeah! Another four, four coin. I'm in Liberty Heights. Ooh. Ah, oh, Christ. Not again! This is the second time I've been pulled over. No! <laughs> I didn't do anything, officer. LOPD. Again. You were picking up in our crapper zone. What was it this time? I pulled over, hands on wheel, eyes up, deep breaths. Good evening, ma'am. Hate to pull over a friend of the LOPD, but we've had some compelling reports about neocabs on the road tonight. You can't do this. One moment, Miss Romero. He turned away, but I could hear him speaking in a hushed tone. On every channel, this one must have pissed off the wrong people. We'll get the word out. How much was this going to cost me? No. No, 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 no. It couldn't be her. His visor. Oh. Oh. 
No, I sat up straight, I tried to keep my expression blank. I tried to hide even the slightest hint of recognition. But it didn't matter. Oh god. There she was, her face on every screen. Bathing in the city, uh, bathing the city in a blood red glow. Wanted for fraud and trespassing. Oh, IP theft. Fraud and trespassing. Savvy. What have you done? IP theft, fraud and trespass. Ma'am? Uh oh. Oh god. Anything else, officer? You're in a hurry to get somewhere, aren't you? Well, aren't we all? Just watch your speed out there. You're not a Capra. Now look, I'm legally obligated to ask you this. Have you seen the individual pictured on this bullet bulletin? I shook my head. No, sir. I didn't trust my voice not to shake. Ah, oh, God, I don't have a choice. I shook my head. Yeah, why would a Neo Cabby ever know a Capra employee? She must have been pretty high up on the food chain, too. Don't put out citywide APB APBs for rogue janitors, do they? Guess not. Well, report any sightings of this criminal right away. That'll be all. Drive safely, ma'am. I'm like clicking. There we go. Whew. Wow, that was fucking lucky. Savvy was wanted and I just lied to the LOPD. What had he meant by Capra employee? No way she was working for them, right? This couldn't be happening. Somewhere in this city was Savvy's apartment with the extra room all set up for me and the bricks of sage incense squirreled away in every closet. Why would, would I ever see that place? Would I ever see her again? Oh boy. Oh, a message from Liam. Hey, Lena, it's Liam. <laughs> you know, I can see your name, right? I don't like to assume. Glad to be in your contacts. How are things going on your end? Somewhere between ish and yikes. Well, I hope it's closer to ish. Reason I'm texting is pretty... Wait, I pretty... Wait. Reason I'm texting is I just met pretty much the coolest person. A quantum witch. <gasps> Una? The statistician? I'm assuming it's her. Statistics? Are we talking about the same Una? This lady is a straight up science witch. Oh, she says she knows you too. What are the odds? I think that's more for Una to say. Right? We've been talking all night about random things that aren't really random and the difference between impossible and improbable and also zombie cats. Anyways, Una says hi. Ah oh, ha ha. Gonna go check out this spot. It's at Raymond Yeti. Now have a good one. You do. Wow. Oh, that was cool. Wait, why'd I put the, the phone down? I'll be getting it back up to get another lift. Liam and Una. Now there was a match made in quantum heaven. I had no idea how I could help fix a, <laughs> fix a timeline. I just wanted to fix my own life at the moment. At least I was making a name for myself in this town. One quantum witch at a time. It was well after midnight, and I'd met my ride quota. I checked my field grid. Blue. I had it in me to push, push on for one more ride tonight, or I could call it early and get some rest. Push on. Every pack's with a chance to, earn, to learn the city and earn a bit more coin. Yep. Thing is, do I want to get fuel first? I've got 39 coin. It's going to cost... Oof. People should fall in love with their eyes closed. Ah. Yeah, daily goals, 8 coin of 35. So we're there. Can't do that. Whoa, who's this? Stella... B B is that Buniel? This above all, to thine own self be true. I might do that. Screw it. Only downside is I'm starting this off depressed. Good stuff. My nav led me into a desolate industrial area. 
the kind of place that reminds you it's nighttime. I pulled up to an old warehouse that had been, I don't know what that said. A band was loading up in front with stacks of amps and two long-legged blue whale puppets with amplifier eyes. There she is. Driver, how many passengers have you had tonight? Uh, enough. What do you ask? Were they coughing at all? Showing any signs of infection? It's okay, I'd just rather know so I can protect, protect myself. No, they seem fine. Is there something going around? Or are you just one of those, like, germaphobes? Everything goes around, constantly. That's the problem. Bird flu, swine flu, and people... And people laugh, but Ebola is out there. By the time you show symptoms, you've already been contagious for 48 hours. Didn't they cure... They find a cure for Ebola, though? Spores from that rainforest beetle fungus? Good one. It's not a joke, it won the Nobel Prize. Didn't you get the shot for it? Where are my manners? Nice to meet you, Lena. I'm Ned. I'm spending too much time around my grandson. Kids are like germ travel agents. Touch a Lego and boom! The virus has a one-way ticket to your immune system. You got any kids? <laughs> grandson. No kids, just waking up to getting a dog for now. Fantastic idea. Man's best friend. Well, certainly for this old-timer. Old-timer? I'm very confused. They don't look very old. Was this some kind of body swap situation? Time travel? Was I hallucinating? A low-flying drone buzzed me back to reality. Nope, this was happening. So, you look like a gal I can trust. Got an honest face. Have you ever heard that before? Actually, I hear that a lot. Just not... the part about being a gal. Well, between you and me, I've noticed a few strange things happening around town these last few days. Have you seen anything suspicious? You mean besides whatever is going on right now? I drive a cab in the middle of the night, so... I see, I see. Now, I know we like our fair share of drama in our, in our little hamlet, but I saw something the day that cheerleader gal turned up dead behind the video store. And well, a man can't be having scares like that at my age. What? <laughs> you sure can't. I'm not going to question, like, how old are you? You look really young, though. I'm so close to making it to the 21st century. I can't have the old ticker given out now. <laughs> are you okay? What year do you think it is? Oh god, break. I know you see me, like, me, in my actual body. But normally I'd appear to you as a middle-aged man named Ned. Ned seems like an interesting guy. Thanks. At first when I got the role, I was like, yeesh. But then they gave him a little grandson and boom. The character just cracked wide open. Oh! You can go back to being Ned if you want. I wish I had a headset. It's way harder to practice like this. So like, did you believe the character? Did you feel a mix of... what was it? Homespun charm and treatment murder mystery suspense? Uh, Not really. We just thought you were crazy. I need a little help understanding this. It's for an immersion. I'm actually a real actor, but the le legit gigs never pay, you know? It's through Ojo's... is that Abiertos? Have you done one of their stories? Not yet. We're like any other immersion troupe out there. We bounce around the theatre space, improv characters that we get, like, the day before. So the customer in the headset can save the girl or slay the dragon or both. Whatever plot pack they bought. Tonight's menu features a great historical mystery set at the turn of the century. Why to kill? Featuring Ned, a schlub with a sordid tie to Newbury High's beloved murder prom queen. Or murdered prom queen. Sounds like you don't love it. Whatever. It's money. A gloom settled over her. Savvy tried to drag me to this haunted house immersion last Halloween. One of my exes and one of her exes both ended up working there, and she said it would be 
like therapy to go axe mur <laughs> to go axe murder them as evil zombies or whatever. I should have done it. So, are people ever mean to you in those in these shows? I hear there's a pretty good arts there's a pretty good art arts scene in Elo. It's not bad, and Capra makes a big thing about supporting local spots, so that's cool. Until they invent an AI to replace us. Sounds familiar? Once I had some tourists who were convinced I was a super realistic AI. That was actually only a couple days ago. Oh, I didn't even notice they said, uh huh. She stared at her hands and the gloom settled back over her. Sorry, they just dropped a bunch of new plots on us last night. Can I run another character by you? Sure. I'd play along. Anything to keep me from obsessing about Savvy. Sure. Lifesaver. So on tonight's menu I have two more characters. Frawl, the dark Entrexis Spiderling who guards the mirror of many faces. Orthora, a bad girl witch who pulls you into hijinks at Cauldron Academy. Ooh, Thora. Oh. Way too close to home. Maybe not. A high maintenance friend with a strange power over you. Way too close to home. Let's gotta say for all. Okay, so imagine I'm ten feet, ten feet tall, and I have eight legs, countless glimmering eyes, and smoke billows out of my gaping maw. Cool. Can you maybe not be a spider? Is the smoke poisonous? Silence, man, folk. <laughs> she stuck, stomped her foot so hard it shook the front seat. What would be the meaning of such disturbance to the most precious sl slumber of the in Intraxis? <laughs> Sorry, just looking for a mirror. So manfolk come to play with Fruel. Think she's so clever, but she be a fool. Do you have to talk in rhymes? Don't know about rhyming Fruel with Fool. I am no fool. Maybe I can do something for you, Fruel. Manfolk can leave. Unless Daughter of Man believes she is worthy of Frawl's treasure. <laughs> yes, beast, so hand it over. Not so simple, not so simple. Price of treasure is great indeed. Answer Frawl's riddle and Manfolk will get what man Manfolk seek. Though the mirror of many faces may not be what Manfolk think. <laughs> riddle me, Frawl. Uh, yeah, riddle me. Listen carefully. How many manfolk work for Neocab? That's your riddle? So this is the kind of information a monster just has on hand. Well, off the top of my head... How many manfolk uh, people worked for Neocab? Did I even know that? We don't exactly have conferences. 300! I would say, mostly because the higher, I would say most people have been replaced. Wrong, wrong! Manfolk be wrong. What's the answer then? The answer is none! <laughs> Enough of your tricks, beast. Yes, many manfolk say they work for Neocab. But none of them actually do any work. <laughs> oh, for all you lovable rascal. Manfolk lose. Now manfolk must die. No! And break. Guess I got frawled. So what was the treasure? No, I guess I got frawled. Sorry.